Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop, brought to you by the Hospitality Group. Best jobs, best candidates, latest news, exclusive networking and industry events. Radio Partner 106.2 Hum FM, Fashion Partner RR Fashion, Production Partner Charles Real Media Productions Dubai, Magazine Partner Hospitality Business Middle East and The Pro Chef. And welcome to Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop, where we unfold the hospitality industry for you to see, learn, understand and of course be entertained. Through our program, not only do you get to see and explore amazing hotel properties, but also get a feel of them for yourselves. According to Hospitality Business Middle East November 2013 data, the Middle East Africa hotel construction saw UAE at the maximum with over 18,000 rooms and Jordan, Algeria and Morocco with over 2,000 rooms under construction. Today we are at the Al Bostan Center and Residences in Dubai. We would love to hear from you, your feedback and what else you'd like to see on the program so send us an email. Email us on email at hospitalitybuzz.com and join our Facebook group Hospitality Buzz. Now let's get started with the latest happenings in the hospitality industry in the UAE. The Dubai Convention and Events Bureau, a division of the Department of Commerce and Tourism Marketing, is welcoming the first of 40,000 incentive delegates arriving from New Skin Enterprise Incorporated in China. DCEB won the bid for Dubai to host the New Skin Incentive Mega Group in January 2013, fending off fear competition from Macau, Seoul in South Korea and Singapore. A fitness challenge will take place in May at the Special One Fitness Gym in Abu Dhabi managed by the Armed Forces Officers Club and Hotel. Designed as the ultimate test of speed, strength and will, the challenge is issued to men aged 16 and above and will be carried out on an individual basis at any time between 900 and 2300 hours at the state-of-the-art gym in 2454 building. According to Hospitality Business Middle East November 2013 data, the total number of rooms under construction in UAE are way higher than those in Central and South America with only over 13,000 rooms. Now we bring you a wonderful property in our limelight section today, have a look. Whenever I'm uh, entering my any properties since 25 years, first, is it clean or not? This is very important. And the second thing, I want to see my staff face, if they are shaving or they are in good look. This is very important and active, dynamic, smiling. After that, we are going to the other stage to check the restaurant or the bar or the rooms and the, that's it. Our properties, we have four different properties. One for corporate, one the other, uh, other two we have on the beach for leisure. So the test is different. You know. The tourist, you have to treat the tourist different than the corporate who is staying with you more than three, four months. Uh, this is very important. Uh, so according to that, we are making the, the strategy of the property, the location and the, which segment we are looking for. Our company, uh, and the important thing is the customer satisfaction, of course. And this now we are doing it also through our uh, website and we have uh, a specialized company they are checking, controlling this every month and they are sending us their report. After checkout, all the customers, they can write their comments and we have a specialized company, international company, they are taking all these answers and then giving us the, the, the exact figures about the customer, how they are thinking and their review also. In each property, we have uh, in charge people. We have uh, GM, we have uh, assistants, op uh, director of operations. And then, all this uh, at the end, uh, there is something we are 
checking with them on a daily basis, something weekly meetings and sometimes monthly week, uh, meetings were with them. Plus, we did our own uh, centralized reservation system and centralized sales and marketing. So those people they are handling everything from one place. They say sales and marketing, they are handling all the hotels. I, for me, uh, there is no Saturday, no Saturday, <laughs> Friday, anytime I'm coming to the office. Friday, maybe I'm taking rest. Sometimes even Fridays I will be in the office. Hospital is my life. I see more than 30 years young. I started this uh, different line as a doctor, but now last uh, 27, 28 years, I'm in the hospitality. This is my life. I like my job. And, uh, I'm happy. And that was our property pick of the week. We hope you enjoyed it. And it's time now to find out from one of the experts what they do differently every day to wow their guests. Hi, my name is Daisy from Saitun Walna Spa at Arabian Courtyard Hotel. Today, we will show you how to do hairstyle up to for work. To start doing the hairstyle, it's always important to see that the hair is 100% dry before we start hairstyle. Tie the hair into a ponytail at the end of the head. Turn it till the hairband cannot be seen anymore. Put the pins to fasten the hair and you are ready. If you don't want to have a hair up to but still want to tie in a good style, then here is one more simple tip. Tie the hair in a normal ponytail, roll the hair and turn it. This is a simple corporate hairstyle. There's still lots more in store on Hospitality Buzz, so stay tuned because we have the Big Dish, Contest Deals and lots more coming right up. Contact Excite Tourism in Dubai or visit the website for more details. Top global hospitality companies look for the best candidate. Give yourself an opportunity to pick the right candidate for your company. Featuring the latest news from the hospitality industry. Network with the top industry professionals. Advertise with us and grow with us. Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop. This is Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop, where we bring to you the opportunity to experience the hospitality industry for yourself. Up next is the exclusive deal of the week. Please note down the deal number that you see on the screen and send it to us via email. Email at hospitalitybuzz.com and let us know that you're interested in getting this deal for yourself. Here is the deal of the week. Buy an executive room for two people with breakfast and dinner only for 444 dirhams and breakfast, lunch, dinner only for 555 dirhams at Mangrove Hotels by Bin Majid Hotels and Resorts, Russell Khema. Use the code HB0010 and email to email at hospitalitybars.com. We all try to make dishes in our daily life, but there are many among us who are willing to spend time and some extra effort to make the dish special. Up next on our show is the chef who will show us how to create a great dish with the experience and knowledge. Let's have a look at a big dish. 
The Big Dish is brought to you by Homes R Us. Simply homemaking. Hi, myself Chef Kuldeep Praturi from Option Spice and Jeep Kapoor. We are going to show you something different today. We have some ground flour, broccoli, which is grated, chopped coriander, salt, chopped chili, chopped onion, chopped garlic, chopped ginger. We have some garam masala, some kasuri methi, and some white sesame seed. So let's start with. We are going to pour some olive oil in it. We'll put two spoon of uh, chopped garlic. onion now we'll add some of green chilies it depend you how much spice you like and we'll add the ground flour in it so we'll mix all we'll roast it to make sure there is no lumps now our ground flour is ready we'll add the broccoli we'll add, add chopped ginger coriander some garam masala and some kasuri methi in it the final we will add some white sesame seed in it and salt we will mix the mixer very well cook the broccoli okay, now the mixer is ready we will mix it and now we'll make small patties of this and we'll just add some sesame on top of it again we will heat a pan and we'll add the olive oil in it to shallow fry the broccoli kebab fry it we'll add it hot oil if you don't like fry it you can bake it in a oven now we'll turn the patties here our broccoli tilke kebab is ready we'll add some we'll we'll do some garnish in it we have some cherry tomatoes we'll garnish on top okay, here your kebab is ready the big dish is brought to you by homes are us simply home making and now it's time for the contest part of the program and for you to win something for yourself all you have to do is listen carefully to the question and send us your answer via email email us on email at hospitalitybus.com and best of luck to all of you because one of you could be a lucky winner win a one night complimentary stay for two people with breakfast at mangrove hotel by bin majid hotels and resorts rasal khaima by simply answering this question where is the mangrove hotel by bin majid hotels and resorts rasal khaima located Hospitality Buzz not only features great properties but also individual talents who put in that one extra percent to make the stay of the guest worth the money spent. Let's see another hospitality tip. Hi, I'm Alex from JA Ocean View Hotel and I'm going to be showing you how to make a classic virgin mojito. So you can make these in pitchers for groups of friends at dinner parties. They're very nice for having Um, on a hot summer's day. So, first thing I'm going to take eight to ten fresh mint leaves, and I'm going to take thirty ml of freshly squeezed lime juice, then one um, teaspoon of sugar, brown sugar preferably, but you can use white as well, and then thirty ml of simple syrup, which you can make using one part sugar. Muddle these together in a glass, just so. all the flavors are mixed together. So add one scoop of crushed ice. So you can use soda water to to top the drink or you can use ginger ale or apple juice, tonic water depending on how sweet or how sour you want the drink. I'm just going to do a classic and use soda water. The right balance of sweet and sour. If you want to impress your friends, garnish the glass, fresh mint, and a lime wedge. Time now for a short break. We still have lots more coming up on Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop. So stay tuned. Top 
global hospitality companies look for the best candidate. Give yourself an opportunity to pick the right candidate for your company. Featuring the latest news from the hospitality industry. Network with the top industry professionals. Advertise with us and grow with us. Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop. It is the kind of experts that you see on this show that are responsible for making guests feel at home and very comfortable when they come to a hotel property. However, the success and the profitability of this property or any hotel property relies completely on the mind on top. Let's check out the hospitality talk section to find out how the person in charge determines the future of a hotel. Today we are in conversation with Mr. Thomas Tapkin, Vice President of Operations for Millennium and Gopthorn Middle East and Africa. With over 30 years of hospitality experience with top brands like Movent, Big, Rotana and now with Millennium, Thomas Tapkin is also a very well-known figure in the hospitality industry in the Middle East. Thomas, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, thank you for being here. Uh, from Movent, Big, to Rotana and now to Millennium, sum up your journey, how does it feel? It's exciting. Mm -hmm. A new company always gives you a new drive and brings you new experience, new level, new colleagues, new systems. At the end of the day, we all serve the guests, but uh, I think the way, the journey to serve the guests is always different with, with different companies. And of course, different leadership, different management. Of course, you've been in the Bible now. 12 years now. 12 years. 12 years. A second experience. It was uh, the fastest journey I ever went on. I mean, a bullet train is slow compared to this what we experienced. <laughs> you turn around and 12 years ago. Excellent. Uh, you have been in the power list uh, for 50 top professionals of the yeah, Twice. 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 Yes. Uh, how does it feel to be one of such leaders? It's wonderful to be part of, of uh, the hospitality leadership mm -hmm. team. You have the top one, the first top 10. It's, it's unreachable for us because of course, the owners and, and uh, they're, they're leading big, big groups. Um, today I'm in a position to say I'm, I'm, I'm heading up the, the group for Millennium here in Middle East in Africa. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to be in this part and, and it's, 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 it's an honor. So how, how are you different uh, from the other hospitality leaders in this part of the world? Are we, are we different? Thank you very much. Yes, we're trying to be different. Yes. But at the end of the day it comes down how you treat your owners. Yes. How do you handle your employees? Mm -hmm. Without any doubt, how do you how do you handle the, the, the guests, the guest requests, the guest complaint? At the end of the day, we all do the same thing. We are going into the direction of service, but we are trying to be different with acknowledging the individuals, mm -hmm. the individual guests. For us, the guest should not be a room number. For us, the guest is a guest with a name. Uh, now, Dubai won the export of the How important is it for us? It, it is wonderful, it's, it's, uh, but how important is it for you and your company, obviously? I think very important for us because now, now number one, there's COVID. Number two, we know that Expo 2020 will happen. Whatever, whatever we do, it will happen. Of course. So for us, we are trying to add more inventory into our hotels. So right now, we have four hotels in Dubai. We would love to have more with two or three in the pipeline. So there is a certain growth coming. Abu Dhabi close by to Expo 2020. Yes. Again, there's a growth coming. Um, it's a hype in the city. It's not only as Millennium where we have a hype for 2020. So the, the whole city has a hype. You, you spoke about the team. How do you develop? How do you take care of the team? We're trying, from the first second onward, we're trying to hire the people, the right people for the right job. Right, that's the first step. And I think that's, that's the key, working, working with you, working with other uh, companies, who assist us in bringing the right people uh, into our company. But it's a, it's a very long process for us. We are not making last minute decisions, we are not making decisions ad hoc. We are trying to build up this, this experience. So recruiting the right person is the first step. And then that's, that's the key. You are an inspiration for many budding hoteliers like me. What, what is one piece of advice that you Hospitality is people business. And we forget sometimes that we are in the people business. It is not 
only about figures. It's not only about development. It is. At the end of the day, to get to come through the door, this should be the key factor we are concentrating on. I think this is the only advice I, I can give. Excellent. With this piece of advice, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Let's see if this has ever happened to you. You've gone to a friend's party for a dinner and you've been completely wowed by the table setting. And then you're a guest at somebody's house, you walk into the powder room and you see these amazing folded towel animals and to top it all off, you get together with somebody at 10 minutes notice and are completely blown away by the kind of food they've put together in that short amount of time. Do you want to learn how to be an expert at such things? Hospitality Buzz brings to you tips from the industry experts and here is such a hospitality tip. Abraham Chirian working as an assistant chief engineer here in uh, Ramada Hot Land Suits. Uh, we are doing the urban farming over here and uh, we converted a 430 square meter uh, parking area to urban farming and uh, we, are, we are having a seasonal crops over here. Now we are going to do a demo how to plant the uh, vegetables in the balconies. So what we need, uh, we need a plant report, red soil and uh, compost from the zero landfill. Then uh, we mix, mix the soil with the uh, compost and we put the seeds in an adequate distance and give enough water to the plant. And we have to keep this uh, under the sunlight to get more sunlight to the plants. Now we filled already the plant, uh, uh, pot with the red soil. Now we are fixing, uh, mixing it with the compost. This is uh, melon seeds. Now the, uh, we have to water the seeds. We can keep that in the balcony, then uh, this is the way we can get uh, organic vegetables to the kitchen. Thank you very much. Among you, if there are people who are looking for a job change or wish to join the hospitality industry, then have a look at this vacancy we have for you this week. Log on to hospitality.com and apply online. Front office assistant required at the Premier Inn Abu Dhabi International Airport Hotel. Candidates with Star Hotel experience prefer. For more job opportunities, log on to hospitality.com. And that's all that we have for this week's episode of Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop from the Al Bustan Center and Residences in Dubai. We hope you enjoyed the show, so please let us know what you thought. Send us your feedback via email. Email us at email at hospitalitybuzz.com. We look forward to seeing you again. But just before we leave, we have for you the rapid fire round from the hospitality talk section. Do take a look. Uh, are you ready for my rapid fire round? Absolutely. Okay. Fun question. Uh, I'm okay. Okay. The first question that comes to my mind if you're caught speeding in Dubai by a cop, what would the first excuse that be? The first answer would be if it's uh, something that wants to get away. Okay, it's the best way out. See, I, I, don't, I don't need to add me, so it happens to me actually on a regular basis. I'm trying to get around it. I'm pretty open and I said, no, I don't really need red meat. Oh, if it's not red meat? If, it, if it's anything else, it's very difficult to find an excuse. So I'm with my boss, so I have to be careful. But I'm sure you get a lot of compliments. What is the best compliment you ever received? Personal compliment. Um, they talked about my suit. I think this was a... Uh, yeah. I think that, uh, recalling, I would say, it's more to have a nice wife. What kind of people uh, do you find working with people? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. It was nice talking to you. Already rolling. rolling. Hotel construction pipeline. So UAE with. No, okay. An exclusive. <laughs> An exclusive property in the. <laughs> According to hospitality. Danny Catch. November, December. Hospitality buzz, not. How to create a wonderful dish. With this hospitality buzz the inside scoop brought to you by the hospitality group best jobs best candidates latest news exclusive networking and industry events radio partner 106.2 hum fm fashion partner rr fashion production partner 12th real media productions dubai magazine partner hospitality business middle east and the pro chef